Welcome back. Chances are high that someone close to you has suffered through some form of addiction, whether that be drug abuse or alcohol, and you also know that the road to recovery can certainly be a long one, and you don't have to do it alone. Joining me, Gwen Holder and Phyllis Fuchs, here to talk about a luncheon at Liberty Place coming up next month, offering support to those struggling with addiction. And my, is this timely. Obviously, this is something that's unfortunately been in the news far too often recently with the amount of overdoses and overdose deaths, um, a lot of which coming from heroin and fentanyl and things like that, but that's not the only type of addiction. You know, we don't want to overshadow all the other things are, that are going on. Tell me about this. It's your primary fundraiser for the year. Tell us a little bit about Liberty Place. Liberty Place is a recovery center for women in Richmond, Kentucky. Uh, we hold 108 women there, mm -hmm. and it is primarily for women who are homeless or marginally housed. And it is a long-term program that is six to nine months in duration. Mm -hmm. What kind of treatment might they receive when they get there? It is a recovery center, so it's a, it's a little, it's non-traditional. Mm -hmm. So when they come in, they start to learn about what recovery really is. They learn how to live in recovery. They get to um, get educated about the disease of addiction. Mm -hmm. And they um, also get um, education about things like domestic violence, anger management, yeah. things like that. Um, they get support services uh, so that they can learn how to live differently. Absolutely. Phyllis, tell me a little bit about what this luncheon provides for Liberty Place. Um, well, one of the things that it provides is it provides an opportunity for the ladies to meet the public. So the ladies do the cooking and the serving. Okay. And we have one of our alumni tell the story. And so the money from the fundraiser then can go to the services that they receive while they're there. Everything from, you know, some of the ladies come flip-flops, shorts, and a t-shirt, sure. and that's all they have to their name. Mm -hmm. So they need clothes, they need shampoo, they need, you know, food for the day. So all those types of services are part of what they get. Mm -hmm. And they need a sense of community, Gwen, right? And this also, Liberty Place also offers them that sense of community. Absolutely. Um, you know, that many of them have lived so long in addiction that they don't feel part of society anymore. So coming to Liberty Place and starting to feel part of something, um, they learn how to live, as it start to learn how to live as a citizen, mm -hmm. they start to feel part of, and Richmond as a community has really embraced the program and the women there, and it's been a beautiful thing to be a part of. That's great. You guys yeah. recently had an event, uh, Hope Not Heroin, that we talked about, that we covered, um, was it back in February? In, in September. In September, September. sorry, yes, yes my <laughs> apologies. Yeah. Um, just, just talk about the other things that Liberty Place does in order to help people you know, fight what is such a difficult battle? Well, um, as part of their process, they start to learn how to make amends to the people that they've harmed. Sure. So in that process, they begin to get family back. Um, they start to become, as I said, part of the community mm -hmm. again. They get jobs at the end of the program. Yeah. So they're starting to become responsible citizens, mm -hmm. and they start to realize all that that encompasses with family, with job, with being a citizen in general. And um, so, you know, it's, it's the full picture. Absolutely. It's not as simple as just not using drugs anymore. Right. It's learning how to live again. Sure. Phyllis, how can people learn more information about Liberty Place? Um, they can go to our uh, Facebook page, Liberty Place Recovery Center for Women. Mm -hmm. um, they can also go to our parent agency is Kentucky River Foothills, okay. and they have a website. Um, or they can call our phone number. Is it on the screen? I believe we... 625-0104. There we go. 625-0104. So uh, there it Absolutely. is right there on your screen. So. Gwen, Phyllis, thank you so much for what you both do uh, to help our friends and family members throughout the area and keep up the good work. Thank you. All thank right. you. We'll be back with more after this.